Hello everyone, you're on the Marka Haravan channel where we want to review some cool DeFi projects and today we have a new cool project which is called MetaZ. But before the video starts, a small disclaimer, everything you'll hear in this video is not financial advice. Before making a decision about investing in a particular project, always conduct your research. This is the only way you can save and decrease your capital. The foundation stone for MetaZ has been laid in December 2021 by its founder, Jonas Kasdi, with the help of Joseph Gray and Nathwer Fergie. MetaZ started as a game prototype for the Metaverse, which had a basic concept of allowing players to make their own unique stuff using NFT technology and share it with each other, which then branched out into four primary building blocks base game, builder, marketplace, meta Z token. And let's take a closer look at each of the component. Base game. For graphical design shows, team went with a low poly style for the sake of both performance and simplicity to make the game way more user friendly for newcomers. Project use a variety of low poly 3D models, but mostly polygon and most notably polygon packs from Unity Store. The core gameplay revolves around multiplayer interactions. The game focuses heavily on the social part between players rather than physics, which was a decision team come up with after reviewing multiple Metaverse games. In order for players to build their own stuff, they will need to have a wallet land, could be obtained from the market, which only they can change however they like. Other players may only view it at its and interact with it. Builder. You could think of the Builder as a separate game. It has its own camera of movement, world settings and plays differently. The main purpose behind choosing the design is to make it easy for players to create their own world separately from the main game world in a clean and organized manner. The Builder design allows for flexible adding of new items each item must contain. 3D model, material, item name after adding it into the item list it will automatically generate a ghost material, used as a guide to help the player place objects on the game world, which can be placed later after adding it to the items list into the game world. MetaZ Marketplace MetaZ Marketplace is a fronted application written on Next.js using TypeScript. The backend of the marketplace is written to the TypeScript using Node.js and Express.js framework. You can trade on the marketplace using any gateway to blockchain apps, meaning you don't have to go through any registration process, although the users must specify a username and a password in order to access the game. By the way, it will be launched in April this year, and within two months there will be a release of the alpha version of the game. MetaZ items are NFTs, meaning they would need metadata in order to be able to use them on the game. The metadata is a JSON document that contains item name, item game ID, an image for item preview, MetaZ token. MetaZ token MZT is a BIP20 token powered by Binary Smart Chain launched in January 31st in PancakeSwap DEX exchange. It's designed to be used as a reward from playing MetaZ game and purchase and trade items in MetaZ marketplace. Use cases: purchase and trade items between users in MetaZ marketplace. Get it as a reward from playing MetaZ game. Transaction fees for trading NFTs. Staking. MetaZ team have launched MZT staking pool in Unicrypt. Also, project have tokens with distribution for holders. 5% of the token stock has already been burned. And in my opinion, this will have a good effect on the price of the token in the future. In this blockchain public contract team unlocking 67% of the supply till 2024-2025. And this is a good indicator that the project is long-term. And a great opportunity to join the project will be listing on the centralized DJ Phoenix exchange. And after that, the project will be listed on CoinMarketCap. Also, the project has a report from the Trust Auditor SoCan. This is an excellent indicator of how serious the project team is about its reliability and security. 
and the product team itself has passed KYC verification, which perfectly indicates the transparency of the project. The project has a very experienced advisor from the Bitmart team. And as we all know, a fresh look from the outside has a good effect on the development of the project. Now the team is looking for large investors and incubators. You can contact the development team through their website. Follow the YouTube channel of the project and also join Telegram and Twitter to also be aware of all the latest news about the innovations and changes of the project. Guys, this was the review of the Meta Z project and let me remind you that before you go to this channel the projects are checked by me personally. Until the product isn't unsafe, which can give us good and stable eggs and then it runs to be here. However, don't forget to do your research before making a decision about investing in a particular project. This is the only way you can save and decrease your capital. That's it guys, and I continue to look for new cool projects for you and me, which we can go early and make good and stable access. Bye bye to everyone guys.